Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about, obviously, is that uh, petition that I made against uh, Ali Dava because he's been trying to come to Australia for some time, but because of COVID, um, that couldn't happen. There's a funny story I want to uh, share with you guys. I, um, I, I brought that up in my Urdu stream as well, but um, I didn't have the actual screenshots, so I would hold off those screenshots until my next stream so we can keep this matter going. Um, um, it, it's quite funny. People like Ali Dawa act really big and macho. Oh, intellectually, I'm going to destroy you. You know, that kind of, and we're bad at that. He has a very high pitched, girly voice, a Mickey Mouse voice. Um, so on Twitter, you know, these guys act all tough and macho and, oh, yeah, we're not afraid of you, blah, blah, blah. So last year, uh, president of uh, the Secular Party of Australia, uh, uh, under whose ticket I actually contest, um, um, contested an election um, uh, uh, as a senator. Um, that was a disaster, by the way. <laughs> I didn't get many votes. I think I got something like 10,000 votes or whatever. Um, but other than that, so they approached him, IERA, IRA, whatever that is. So they have a branch here in Australia as well. They organized a debate um, in Perth, I believe, um, uh, two Muslim apologists versus and uh, versus atheists so they invited uh, john perkins who's the president of secular party of australia and they asked him to um bring along um a, a partner with you uh, because there will be two of them so john perkins obviously automatically said i'll bring harris sultan with me uh, but they said no not harris sultan anyone but harris sultan I was like okay I was like, okay, my reputation maybe precede myself or whatever. Uh, they're nervous around me. I can understand that. Um, but then now I realize it's actually Ali Dava. It's Ali Dava and some other Muslim dude. Um, they are going to be uh, defending the Islamic narrative. And uh, they said, no, not, not Harris Sultan. So Ali Dava is apparently scared of Harris Sultan. Um, but anyway, I didn't know that. I, that's not why I started this petition. I started this petition because of this guy's hideous comments and remarks. Um, I am, as I said, a, I do promote free speech and you can criticize ideas, including atheism. You can even spread your conspiracy theories if you want, um, because I believe that uh, we should have an environment where people can promote their ridiculous ideas so we can counter them equally as well. But having said that, the only line where we... The only line we draw is the line of violence. But Ali Dawa has actually crossed that line. And this is why uh, I made the petition against him, um, that he has promoted violence quite openly. He has said uh, ex-Muslims should be killed in Islamic states. Um, he has, and he is proud of that. And you know what? When ex-Muslims will be beheaded, he will be watching it. You can go and watch this clip. I'm not making it up. You can go uh, to this um, link that is in the description, and you can also um, uh, see that um, uh, in, in that in that little ticker down below. Um, but if you obviously, it's not a customized link, so you know you can. Um, th there is a link in the description. You can click on that, and you can go and watch this video. Uh, what kind of views this guy is promoting? So that is the only reason why I thought you know we can make a very strong case against cancelling him. Um, and second thing is, which is besides the point, but um, he he would have done the same about us, and he would do, or people like him. I'm not sure about him personally, but, uh, well, you know, he, he wants us to be beheaded. <laughs> so so cancelling, uh, uh, on one hand, if you're, um, Harris, you're going to get beheaded or cancel, which one would you take? So I think I'll take cancellation. Um, so these guys will do that anyway. But having said that, this is the reason why I started this petition, not because uh, he was scared of debating me. So do fill out the form. And I noticed a lot of other ex-Muslims and atheists um, did not promote this uh, petition. They didn't support me, uh, which is, I think they, there is a bit of an inconsistency there uh, because they say, all of them, as far as I know, say that people should not be promoting violence. But Ali Dawa is guilty of that. So why would they not want to uh, cancel him then? If they think, if they claim that Violence is what we draw the line at. What, what do you mean by drawing the line? Obviously, that would mean that deplatforming them, maybe getting them arrested. And I know when these guys attacked uh, apostate prophet, these guys were jumping up and down. And all ex-Muslims condemned it. And all ex-Muslims, as far as I know, most of them, in, including apostate prophet, um, uh, we reported to the Metropolitan Police. 
we reported it to YouTube. We made a lot of hoo-ha. I think um, the video that I uploaded, which was uh, tweeted by retweeted by Apostate Profit, I think ended up getting something like 100,000 views on Twitter. Despite of all of that, YouTube did not take it down, but we were like, oh, you know, this is so wrong and he should be deplatformed from YouTube. So if you're saying that, then you should be supporting this petition. But I don't know why they're not supporting it. So I think there's a bit of a logical inconsistency there. I, I guess they are, uh, they're scared that um, if they support this petition, then it, they would get accused of, uh, of promoting cancel cancellation culture, uh, which we have unanimously, overwhelmingly always opposed. But there's a caveat in there. The caveat that there's an extra point in there is that we draw the line at violence. So anyone who promotes violence, which Ali Dawa has openly done, he he deserves to be cancelled. He deserves to be deplatformed. And as I said, uh, do join the um, ex-Muslim network, uh, atheist network. I, I might even change that, expand that, and include other people outside of ex-Muslim and atheist um, uh, group as well. This is the website networking.harrisultan.com. You can also join my mailing list, which is harrisultan.com in case we get taken off Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. Uh, so we would be able to stay in touch. This is harrisultan.com. Um, and uh, moreover, I would request you to join my Telegram group as well. This one. So you can go this. The link to that is t.me forward slash harrisultan speaks. Uh, I think I just looked at it. We have something like nearly 600 subscribers. Um, I obviously have a bit more freedom to share my message on that platform because it is a closed platform. Um, and I would highly encourage you to subscribe to, uh, to that as well. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.